Liz John Yotha's Missioner, and his little dog, Mafito, the Wonder Dog, as we play the theme song for the Northern Badger Football League. Cal Tombra Sepot Don Good evening, sports fans. We're going to take a look at week three action, starting with the Baron Division. I'm going to call this game the Orange Bowl because of the uniform colors. Is East River taking down Apple River by 13 points? causing a tie, or we tie for first place, and there's Bell's jumpsuit. It was Stefan Diggs, a little Viking bitch, who caught a lot of the passes. MJ did not take a well called Kurt, the mentally deranged dotard, who vowed to destroy MJ next time that they play each other. And is visiting Doherty Creek, taking down Rabbit Trail by 31 points. The Fuzzy's team got a good start and got into a four-way tie for first place. Started out Thursday night with Samuel Watkins. This nice extra effort got Moffitt all excited, which jumped in my lap. Speaking of jumping into somebody's lap, there is the $34 man. And once again, he's outplayed Jay Cutler, who inexplicably started in front of Russell Wilson and some other quarterbacks scored a lot of points. In the final game in the Baron Division, visiting Maple Grove got their first win of the season, taking down previously undefeated Wickware by 48 points. Wiki like started reading his own press clippings. Maybe you're getting sick of the Gurley references, but Hammer's not. Got Gurley, great start, 32 points on Thursday night. Meanwhile, Boo decides to tweet in onto the league trash talking page and is not feeling too good about maybe piping off at this point. So, yeah, keep, keep it up. Keep it up, baby. And now look at the bulk division. So the big news from the week was a redesign of Beaver Town, changing the name from Dirty Dogs to Turbo Dogs, trying to class up his act maybe. Well, anyway, it worked. 19 point victory over Upper Turtle, making him go 2-1 to one with a team that had David Johnson. The news was not met with very much excitement in the league offices when told the dogs about the Turbo Dogs, they both passed out. Odell Beckham, he's pretty good. Dog likes those two catches, that got him some points. Uh-huh. And those turbo dogs, yep, two and one, Monkey Falls. Sprout didn't take the news very well of the loss. He acted like a little girl dressed up in a little dress. <laughs> 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 the Northern Wisconsin game of the week, two undefeated teams went at it. And Shawner's South Doherty Mudjackers almost pulled off a huge upset. And Larry Fitzgerald scored 20 points on Monday night. He needed 24. Tom Brady, pretty good. Mitch is one ugly woman, but he is in love with that man and should be 42 points. Meanwhile, Shawner's got eight points from last week's hero, Derek Carr, who let him down. He uh, just needed one more touchdown, and he would have had the win. Meanwhile, Chucky's Pops, Pops and Pike got their first win of the season, taking down four mile. He scored 70 points and left 68 points on the bench. Chucky won despite no help from Marshawn Lynch, who was quote of saying, saying, one fucking point, fuck me, shit, fuck that shit, fuck me, shit, man, shit. And there's Marcus Bell, 69 points. <laughs> Great coaching, Bell. Mark is still going to look for that first win, still fishing. Okay, let's take a look at the standings. Baron Division is all knotted up, with four teams tied at 2-1. and one. Apple River hangs on to the tiebreaker just by eight points over Wickware, who has a slight edge over East River, 
and then Doherty Creek is right on the tail as well. So it, it's a virtual hit bed loop there, Dave. And then Hammer's got the most points in the league. He has 11 more than Apple River. And Smiley, 106 points back, no wins. Ooh, it's gonna be, could be a tough year. The body fell out of the uniform. Well, let's take a look now at the bulk division, where by their victory, their thrilling victory on Sunday, Horseshoe stays in first place. Connor's right on him. He's got the tiebreaker if he could catch him. And then uh, Dirty Dogs, the Turbo Dogs, excuse me, picking it up 2 and 1. Flying Monkeys got points, but they uh, are 1 and 2. Chucky finally got a win. And then Mark Bell's squad, they have some points, but they're 0 and 3. So that's, that's a vision that's going to be fun to watch because Mitch is lucky as usual. Yeah, let's take a look at the week 4 matchups. There are 2 and 1 teams go at it. Apple River has big points advantage in the early line. Hoskin travels to Upper Turtle, two one and two teams. Upper Turtle with the 12 point favorites there. Rabbit Trail hosting Maple Grove, looking for their first win, two point underdogs. Four Mile, another team looking for their first win. Trying to take on South Doherty. Pretty close though on the spread. And then the Bro Ball, Black and White Bro Ball. They just got 12 point advantage over Big Bro. And then Doherty Creek 2 1, East River 2 1, something got to give bowl. Uh, two point favorites for the Creek. Now for some potentially big news. Talks of expansion have heated up around league offices, but four teams have made formal requests to join the league starting next year. Received a request from the team that would be known as the Eagle Point Fowls. And Tommy Hollander, a teacher at Cumberland, has expressed interest in joining the league. A, another Cumberlander, Mark Fuller, who is famous in baseball circles, uh, very much wants to join our league, and they would be known as the Sand Lake Sharks. And that's their look right there. And of course, then you are all familiar with Bart and his great auctioneering job. He would like to get his East Ireland Swamp Donkeys in the league. And he even has submitted two uniforms with a retro, and then this look showing off the Prairie Farm Kelly and Gold, of which he is a proud alumna. And then, for one year, we had the reigning tree frogs in the league, Tom Warnberg, famous as a teacher in Barron, now at Cumberland, and he would like to back in the league as well. And so we are confronted now with the possibility of going from 12 teams to 16 teams. And it can work. I'd look at it. So we'd have four divisions of four teams. Each team plays each team once. The money can work out, the world champion getting $300. The four first place teams would have a, a, a four-way tournament with a consolation game, as would the second place teams, the third place teams, and the fourth place teams. And hit the pause button if you want to see what it came up with as far as payoffs. We'd still have five high scoring payoffs at the end of the season and 10 weekly bis, uh, bonus winners. And we'd still have the $100 um, Super Bowl tournament. We could reduce the rosters from 14 to 11. Descriptions of the bowl games at the end of the video. But then we would have like a free agency period like the NFL does, sign two more players. Then regular FOB would begin 48 hours after that. Dealing with it now, guys, because we're thinking about it. And then once the season gets gone, we kind of lose thought. We're healthy. I think we should do it. And, um, <laughs> We'll talk more about it later. August 26, 2018. That would be our sacred date at this point. As usual, everybody have a good week. Stay well.